Ecotech life ain't for everyone. What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're in the shop. Fortunately for us, we have an Ecotech. I know it's probably hard to believe, but it needs a timing chain. So we're going to go ahead and run through that and uh, going to kind of make it as easy as I can. I am using a lift, but this is something you know you could probably do on the ground in your driveway if you really have to. Save a couple of bucks. These are a couple of the things that we're going to do which is a valve cover gasket. That's the front cover gasket. And then we have the actual timing chain, as long as the guides and the hardware kit. And then the, uh, I forgot what that's called, but it, that is the tensioner. This is the most important thing. Don't worry, I have more. I'm also gonna try to make it, you know, as simple as possible, as few tools as possible, you know, that you're gonna need. You know, this is kind of a common problem with these. So uh, I figure, you know, maybe give you guys a little bit of help. Now there are a lot of videos on how to do this and probably far better ones than anyone I could ever make uh, out there on the YouTube. Kind of another point of this video is, you know, I wanna show you some other things that you might come across and, uh, you know, a couple of tips and tricks, mainly like on these connectors. Uh, if you ever have to check your air filter or take your intake off for any reason, or even if you have a uh, valve cover gasket that you need to replace. Front cover gasket, same thing. There's going to be a lot of different things covered on here, but yet I'm going to try to make it, you know, kind of quick and kind of easy. So, all right, I guess first thing is go ahead and get started on it. Uh, like I said, I do have a lift, so it's going to be a lot easier for me, but... We're gonna have to go ahead and take off the intake, the whole intake, uh, eventually get down to the valve cover. Well, I actually think they call that the valve timing cover. I don't know, something like that. Uh, we will disconnect our negative lead on our battery terminal because that's what you do before everything, apparently. Uh, then we're gonna go take that tire off we can get a lot more access up through in the tire because we're going to have to take this top motor mount off and uh, some accessories and then get that front cover off. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the GoPro here and set it somewhere over there and uh, get a good time lapse for you because you know I love time lapses. And you know, uh, kind of get started with taking everything off. But don't worry because I got my phone too, you know, to kind of take good shots of... Uh, different things that I'm doing and I can explain them in more depth and uh, you know fun stuff like that so definitely stick around it's gonna be fun for you probably not for me so. All right, so one little thing to note on taking this intake off, it's pretty easy with this. You just take the top off by doing these two clips and uh, a flathead screwdriver will take that little snorkel off. But if you look right in here, let's see if I can get the light in there. Uh, yeah, right there is uh, you can just kind of take a flathead screwdriver and go right in from that angle. And uh, if you look through there, you'll be able to see it. And then this whole thing just kind of pulls off. There's two tabs on the back you just pull up and uh, this whole thing will come off. You have to take the oil cap off though. So making progress. And also on that there is uh, this little vacuum hose over here. Just get a pair of pliers. You can pull that right off. 
All right, now moving on, these connectors are just so hard to get off. And uh, what you kind of want to do is push them in and then press on this little tab right here. And uh, I'm having such a hard time with them, but these things get like stuck on there. Just make sure you press hard on that and you're pushing as hard as you can. And you can usually look in there and you can see when that tab is disengaging. And uh, sometimes you can use a screwdriver and kind of push them as well. Uh, give them a little bit. Another thing I'm noticing, and like I said, you know, for routine maintenance, if you're doing these, look at how dirty that intake is. That intake is so bad. Now you can take some intake cleaner, you can clean that out, get you a little uh, toothbrush or something, kind of open this up and uh, stick your toothbrush in there, get it all douched out in there. I like to take a blow gun and kind of blow in there afterwards. I don't know if that's right, but so moving on, I got to get the rest of the uh, wiring harness off, get this fuel line situation out of the way. Actually, no, I can keep that hooked up. We'll keep that hooked up. Uh, basically, what we're trying to do is get this whole top cover off, which is the, uh, the valve cover. And then from there, we're going to have to take off this motor mount, like I said, take the tire off, take that little inside splash shield off so we can get up in there. And, oh, wait, actually, first, we've got to drain everything. Got the cool tech out. We're also going to have to probably drop some coolant just to be on the safe side because uh, there's definitely going to be coolant up in that front cover, I'd imagine. And, uh, yeah, just kind of keep on rocking and rolling. Just thought I'd show you guys that with that, and especially this. This is something you can do and clean yourself. Just, uh, I don't know if it's good to shoot brake cleaner down there but i've seen it done so uh take that with a grain of salt okay change of plans just that quick so uh actually when you're doing this you don't even have to disconnect these you can just pop all these out these 10 millimeter bolts and uh kind of flip the whole thing over to the side we got a couple brackets over here you don't have to take that apart and uh, everything else is really accessible you're just looking for all of these 10 millimeter bolts there's a couple in there uh, that go all the way around and are for the valve cover. This part's actually not too hard, but uh, yeah, I just figured I'd circle back and kind of mention that. Well, all right, so from here we're going to go ahead and take the valve cover off, take the rest of this stupid plastic stuff off, and uh, go ahead and hook up the AC machine, start draining that. Then after that we can get to draining some coolant, which is... that. It sucks, but all right, it's cool. Hello, Mr. Tyler, going up. <laughs> Remove the tires. Oh, beautiful. Yay. All right, so wheel off. What we're looking for first is I'm going to be taking this plastic shield off. Make it easier. Going up. <laughs> Good. 
basically there's a pin here there was one that's usually there and i think there's one yep up under two under there i'm going to go ahead and remove all those and then kind of give you guys a view of what's going on up under there well all right this thing's kind of hard to get off so we're just going to have it hang down this gives us more than enough room uh looks like the tensioner is going to have to come off but as far as anything else i don't think i'm going to have to take them off so i'm not going to have to drain the ac system uh, looks like it's going to be all pretty straightforward when you take that top motor mount off the engine is going to come down uh, I think I'm going to try to find a piece of wood that'll fit in here just to kind of, you know, keep it where it's at and, uh, you know, make it a little bit more secure for, uh, for me. I'd feel a little bit better. But yeah. Holy, uh, oil leak. So, uh, like I said, you know, this is going to cover a couple of things. This is going to cover your timing chain gasket if you need to change that which really isn't too hard to do valve cover up top uh, a couple of different things so uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead pull that tensioner out and uh start getting that belt off and start going from there all right and to go ahead and take the belt off to release the tension on the tensioner just go ahead and take a 3 8 ratchet and you'll see there's a hole well actually there's a square cut out for that to go in and uh, then from there we take it off it is a 15 millimeter bolt see the light is shining on it right there welcome to the shade tree mechanic not today go ahead and get the oil out of here and uh, we have a oil catch can thing but I don't want to use that. Actually, we're going to be reusing this oil, so I'm going to catch it like a football player. Oh! Is there oil in here? Did we do an oil change? I mean... That is thicker than Shakira's hips, and that ain't no lie. Let's give that a second. Yuck. I don't know, it's pretty dark. Maybe we didn't change the oil in this. Probably gonna have to change the oil in this. It'll be all right. So now my overwhelming sense of laziness is wanting me to just kind of take the front cover off and let all of the coolant fall from that, which is probably gonna drain the entire system. But if I drain the entire system, there's always going to be water in the block. And seeing as I can't find a petcock, I'm lazy. And uh, the lower radiator hose is just like impossible to get at on these. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the front cover and just kind of let it go. I got to take and clean everything off anyways, as I'm sure you can see. Maybe it'll clean it some, you know, the coolant. I don't know, man. This oil is just... Does not look good. It's like starting to take on the form of like some type of psychedelic uh, record cover or something. I think that's water. So I, I don't know. I don't know. We might be backing off on this. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If I remember correctly, uh, the customer came in for an oil change. It had a code for correlation old cam crank correlation which sucks when you get it on these and uh, we diode it and we figured you know kind of whittled it down to it being the timing chains timing chain i uh took the valve cover off and yeah the timing chain is very very bad i can't believe it didn't jump so uh 
So yeah, I don't know if a compression test is uh, in line from here or what, but uh, we will definitely keep you updated on that. So I went home and I started editing everything from after doing an hour's worth of work last night. And uh, I figured that I'm probably going to break this into two parts, or maybe three parts, uh, being the removal, and then actually setting the timing for the timing chain. And then, you know, a possible third reinstall, you know, go back over putting everything back on, the gaskets and all that, some tips and tricks, stuff like that. But uh, I don't know, I might have to kind of refigure what's going on. But hey, you know, I'm optimistic. Optimistic.